face that ain't gonna hurt nobody Well damn, now that we found love, what are we gonna do? It's just the two of us, me and you, damn, you make me wanna shoot, shoot, shoot It's for the radio, uh, come on, it's for the radio, yeah, let's get it for the radio Put your hands up, yo, it's for the radio, let's go, let's go, it's for the radio, uh, this one is for the radio, yeah, this one is for the radio Shout out to this marquee, this here's for the radio, let's go, uh yeah, that's right, it's Lady Miz. Shout out to Demo Way. I gotta thank you for this one. Great idea. It's for the radio, uh, yo. It's for the radio, yeah, uh. It's for the radio. Let's go, let's go, uh. I've come to terms with the fact that my future might not involve people I'm around now. I get tired of doing this every time I try something new. Sometimes I had to walk away for what I want to find what I deserve. I made mistakes in my life. I've learned from my bad choices. I'll know better next time. Don't mention a person's past mistakes when they're trying to change. That's like throwing rocks at them while they're struggling to climb a mountain. Yeah, let's talk about that y'all while touring. What has been going on since you've been on tour? I know a lot of you have been doing that. I'm so proud of you, but uh, yeah, we gonna talk about that uh, with a special guest, which I will be having on the line tonight. Now, Miss Nominee, also award-winning Regina Hicks. Let's welcome our special guest to the show, y'all, and everybody that tunes in to Boss Ladies Radio. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another Boss Ladies Live Radio Show. Five-time award winning now. You see, I almost got tongue-tied when I said that. <laughs> I'm going to have to go from five to multiple. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back to another show. You know what I'm saying? Sponsored by all these great people like Dre's Radio Cafe, a.k.a. Dre's 8. He got two new episodes. I mentioned, I mention, I mention, y'all. Check it out now. Dre's Radio Cafe. Check out Young Promise new album. You know what I'm saying? Work All Day Records. We just had a little feasible with that five featuring Arvin J. Make sure y'all check out that awesome interview on the 14th that which was aired at 9 p.m. Central for Superstar Saturday. Then we had the Saturday before that Rob the Poet Brown. Unless you don't want to say the whole thing. Check out the interview that which aired July 30th. You no, know I'm talking about 
in uh, that series, you know, know your worth, then add tax. You know what I'm saying? People work hard and all that good stuff. You know, you know, you'll see it in the in the in the list, in the listings of the show or whatever. Looking up on the details of when those things air. It's also the replay, and you also can get the chat in the chat room still on that show, even though it's not live anymore. So the more you chat in the room, the more spins you get, the more content and more new listeners. Just had to put that out. And thanks and shout out and salute to Finesse Banks Entertainment. Also to uh, Larry D. Edwards, award winning Larry D. Edwards, which congratulations, male R&B artist of the year. Uh, congratulations to Rob the Poet Brown, commentary, um, and also spoke word of the year. You know what I'm saying? Um, who else? Who else? What? All the winners, y'all. It's a lot of winners, too. So check out your local listings on social media if you follow any of these artists that attended the 12th annual does he's awards appreciate that round of applause great great thing happening there definitely down to work with anybody you know what i'm saying appreciate y'all support liking downloading and sharing the show tuning in liking downloading and sharing the show you know what i'm saying free downloads you know what i'm talking about yourself is played on there i download every doggone episode my song is on can't wait to share it with friends and family and seeing the success and all that good stuff. And you should feel the way the same way too. You know what I'm saying? Share, share, share. Let's network, y'all. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bring somebody in the building. Award winning nominated 2021, Regina Hicks. You know what I'm saying? For to get on the line right now, just to congratulate her, talk to her, because she didn't come to the show. So basically, tonight this show is dedicated to really the nominees and the winners of the 12th annual um Dove Seas Award Show. So appreciate shout out, salute one more time. No, I'm talking about, so we finna get on the line. Hello? Regina Hicks, you are live. Boss Lady Radio, what's going on? What's going on, Boss Lady? How you doing? I'm doing great. Let's welcome Regina Hicks to the show, yo! Thank you so much, Yeah, yeah, let's get this thing started. <laughs> couldn't make it to the the award show i had to get you on here because my my goal is to um interview everybody and meet everybody that i've been working with so shout out and salute to you thanks for tuning in tonight and coming in the building spilling all those good things and that great talent that great singing eighth grader is super awesome so i had to play that tonight um yes you are welcome so for those that don't know tell us who you are where you from and what's the latest Okay, well, uh, my name is Regina Hicks. I am an R&B singer based out of Atlanta, Georgia. I'm the daughter of Dodd E. Hicks, who was one of the lead singer um, singers of the group The Cashmere. I'm his youngest child. What? Um, wow. Yes, ma'am. So, um, this being in this business, singing music, it's it, it's been my whole life. So, um, I'm just glad to do it, and I'm glad to be able to be on the show with you. You know, I've got a lot of respect for you and what you do. And I thank you so much for playing my music and all the support you give me. Oh, you are very welcome. Boy, I should have known. I should have known, but I didn't know that. Really? Yes, ma'am. I think we got some vinyls in the closet there. I might have to blow some dust off of it because it's been a while. But, uh, yes, yeah. Oh, my God. Y'all hear this? Girl, tell me more. Tell me more. You know what I'm saying? How did you get started? I mean, did you start through family or you just bounced out on your own? I mean, what's the story? This is amazing. Well, I mean, growing up, music was always a part of my life because, Uh you know, my father was in the business growing up, going to clubs and seeing him perform. Um, And then, you know, as he came out of the business, my father was still... Um, through his connections, he had a limousine company here in Atlanta called Atlanta Executive um, Limo. And, um, of course, you know, his connections, he had a lot of accounts with a lot of people. So I got to meet a lot of people growing up. And, you know, music was always my thing. It, it's just in my blood. And my father recognized from a really, really, really early age that, you know, this was in me. Um, and it was what I wanted to do. So, I mean, he kind of took me under his wing and, uh, you know, showed me how to sing and sing properly and, you know, all that good stuff. And um, Mm. music was always something that I wanted to do. 
Mm-hmm. Um, but to kind of please my parents, my you know, I went on and went to college and did that. It wasn't really what I wanted to do, but mm-hmm. I went on ahead and went to school and got a degree. And, um, you know, once all that was over with, I still felt unfulfilled. Like, I really am supposed to be singing mm-hmm. and in and, and music. And so I just... Um, stepped out there and put my first single out in 2017, which was Trophy. Okay. I kind of jumped out there and, um, you know, it's been a roller coaster. It's been up, it's been down. I'm thankful for ev- for all of it. I'm thankful for, you know, the, the reception that I get from people, you know, how they receive my music and um, I just, I'm grateful, I'm humble and I'm thankful. Okay. That, that's awesome. So, you sing but you sing from the heart. Is this something that you went through, have been through, or you just wrote what was on the top of your head? How is your songwriting style? Um, well, I I like to sing songs about things that I go through in my life because, you know, we live in a world now where a, where a lot of us don't really, a lot of people don't really look at it and realize that we're all the same. You know, like we're we're one human family and we get caught up on, you know, differences or I'm this or I'm that, you know, putting labels on one another. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I've seen from life experience things that I've gone through, like records like Ultimatum, records like Trophy, period. You know, I've been in a a situation um, through a divorce where, you know, it didn't work and it was hurtful. And I I just put that into my music, Ultimatum. Mm. You know, I just put it into the music. I wanted people to feel that pain. I wanted you to to experience what I've experienced because we've all experienced. It may not have been the same scenario, but we've all experienced being hurt and let down by people that we thought loved us and had our backs. So, mm. and that's and that's so true. Um, in your opinion, should it be more of that? Because I sure believe so. I think music is more yeah, real I that way. I don't know. How many words can you rhyme with club or drugs or bitch? You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. It's gotten to the point, excuse my language, but it, it's gotten to the point where the music is just kind of, it's it's all sounding the same. It, mm-hmm. it, no one is, is, is really showcasing. I mean, there's a few artists like her, you know, happens to be someone that kind of stands out. Um, I'd say um, Summer Walker. There are a few girls out there in the game that are putting forth energies that are real and substantive, whereas a lot of other people are just kind of, you know, putting out music for what's hot, for what's right now, and really not saying nothing. Right. So, what? Well, and really, I like your music because Trophy should have been out when I was a little girl. Like, little girls need to hear that they are more than their bodies and their looks. That's what I got from Trophy. What mm-hmm. was your inspiration to write that particular song? Because that song is freaking on point. Thank you. Yes, well, ma'am. Really, um, it, it's so funny. My ex-husband, he had found the beat for me. Um, mm. And he had the concept for the song. And once he kind of gave me the concept, I just kind of wrote how I felt. Um, And feeling that, you know, you take me for granted, you know, but I wrote it from a perspective of, you know, a lot of women who, you know, we have our shit together and, you know, men come at you and they're so disrespectful. And when you don't want to talk to them, they want to cuss you out. Mm -hmm. And it's like, would you kiss your mother with that mouth? Would you like who raised you? You know what I'm saying? And it'd be the total opposite. Mm -hmm. I'm a trophy and you come correct. I don't care about how much money you got. I don't care how good you think you look. Come at, come at me, come at me correctly. Treat me like a lady. Don't treat me like, you know, I'm, you met me on the corner of thugs and five. You feel what I'm saying? (laughs) Right. I like that. A lot, of, a lot of men today, they they are so out of touch with reality and what the reality of a woman is. They think a woman is, you know, what they see on BET or what they watch on Pornhub. And oh, come more on, to a woman and about being a woman and approaching and loving a woman than just being able to drop off some good dick. If, if, I, if you don't, if I can say that. On the uh, yes, it is marked explicit. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, it is marked explicit. You are playing at your own risk. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no filter here, honey. Good. So mm-hmm. we can keep it all the way real. All so, the way. You know, Straight yeah. facts on facts. Yeah, facts on facts. Mm-hmm. 
Definitely. Yeah, you know, that was the inspiration. I wanted young girls to hear something.